Hello and welcome back to Crazy Hank TV. Today we're going to talk about the greatness of Terry O'Quinn. Now Terry O'Quinn has been acting since the early 80s. I think his first credit role was 1981, so he's done a lot of stuff. Uh, he's been in JAG, The West Wing, Alias, the movie Tombstone. I could go on and on and on, but he hit the jackpot with his role as John Locke on the TV show Lost. It was just a fantastic role for him, and he did a fantastic job playing him. Now, I will say this, and I've said this many times, the show does not work without the character John Locke. It just doesn't. It's it's not the same show. And Terry O'Quinn is fantastic and is probably, I can't see anybody else playing that role. He just was amazing. Now, the show had that great ensemble cast, probably the greatest ensemble cast. Well, I don't want to say the, in history of television, but it's up there. I mean, you had Matthew Fox, Evangeline Lilly, Elizabeth Mitchell, Naveen Andrews, Jorge Garcia, Michael Emerson, uh, Dominic Monaghan, and the list goes on and on and on. But Terry O'Quinn just stood out. I mean, he just was just amazing as John Locke, because John Locke was a complicated character. Now, his flashbacks, if you didn't, if you've never seen Lost, shame on you, but they utilized the flashbacks in a way a show's had never done in the past. And without it, I don't think John Locke's character would have been as as interesting. His flashbacks were the best. His flashbacks, because it told why he was the way he was on the island. It did it such a perfect way. But I want to play a scene. This is a scene where his dad has st stolen his kidney, and, and, his, and then, of course, he doesn't want to see him anymore. So let's play this scene and just, just see the acting, and then he fin will finish off with him. The scene finishes off with him pounding on the hatch. Oh, I don't get around yet, but I do. So let's, let's take a look at that scene. I've done everything you wanted me to do. So why did you do this to me? Just an amazing scene again because we see the flashback and they tie the flashback. Of course, you got Michael Giacchino's music, his score in there. So that, again, makes it even better. But, you know, you see his torment off the island. You see his torment on the island. He's trying to get into this hatch because he thinks that's his purpose. It, that's why he was brought to this island. I've done everything you've asked me to do. Just fantastic. And you feel so bad for him. I mean, I can't imagine my dad stealing my kidney and then not wanting to talk to me again. And that's not the worst thing the dad does to him. I, I'm not, I don't want to spoil anyone. But it's not the worst thing. Stealing his kidney is up there. But it's not the worst thing his dad has ever done to him. Just a fantastic acting. It's just amazing, an amazing character. And it's one of those characters you, it's, it's sometimes you want to strangle him and it happens. But there's, you want to, you just, because you get so frustrated with him, but you see how he is off the, his, his, how he was before he got on the island and you go, okay, now I understand why he is the way he is. Now, the next scene I want to, I want to play you is a scene with him and Michael Emerson. Now, those two together, that's just, this acting gold. He introduces himself as Man in Black to Ben and just the anger he shows at the end is just amazing. Well, let's take a look at the world for being told what he couldn't do, even though they were right. He was weak and pathetic and irreparably broken. But despite all that, there was something admirable about him. He was the only one of them who didn't want to leave only one who realized how pitiful the life he left behind actually was. What do you want? Well, that's the great irony here, Ben, because I want the one thing that John Locke didn't. I want to go home.
Yeah, the acting between the two of them and it, that scene at the end where he just shows his anger on his face where he's just like, he's so frustrated of being stuck on that island for all those years. That's something that John Locke never showed. He never showed that kind of anger and just shows you the range of Terry O'Quinn and just how amazing he was to step into the... Because I remember when that season was going on, going, I would follow this John Locke because we didn't know at the time he was Man in Black, that he had you know he died and all that other stuff. We should have figured it out because it was complete different character than he was John. He was a different guy. He was he was completely different, and Terry Quinn played him differently, which is just great acting. So, again, let me know in the comment section. Do you agree with me? Disagree with me? I I believe that John Locke is the strongest character on Lost. He the show does not work without him, and I don't think it works without Terry O'Quinn. I think Terry O'Quinn nailed that character to the point where it's just nobody else could have done what he did and hats off to Terry O'Quinn for getting the role of a lifetime and just nailing it that's all we got we'll be back later on subscribe tell a friend share this video all that fun stuff and we'll be back later on this week I'm out everybody